how I want you guys to do this. So instead, write the polynomial. All right. Now you're given your zeros. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, we talked about this. The student did a great job. We go from zeros to factors. That's the hardest part right there. All right. You got to write from zeros to factors because remember, if I have x equals a is a zero, then x minus a is my factor. So the student did a great job. They wrote down the correct factors. All right, I'm just going to write them again just because I'm going to do my math um, over here. Make sure you kind of have the correct parentheses um, so you just don't get confused. Okay, so that's what the student has. But remember, that was the factor form. Now remember, the factors multiply to give you your polynomial. So we're actually not going to set this equal to 0. And we're actually going to set this equal to f of x. Okay? So the student, student did good from there. Now what we need to do is the hard part. Maybe we need to multiply this. And this is where we made the mistake. All right, And it's very difficult if you don't do this trick. Ladies and gentlemen, you can multiply this out. But remember, this is 4 plus i times um, a negative 4 plus i. That's Actually, that should be x minus. Yeah, actually, this is 4 plus i times 4 minus i. All right? Um, actually, we're going to get x plus 15. We're getting very close. But we made a mistake. x squared. Shouldn't the x Shouldn't it be x minus 2 instead of x? Um, well, let me just go through it. Let me, let me, uh, let me actually see because they're close, but they're not right. I don't know where they made the mistake. Let me look at it. What I would like to do, rather than multiplying, oh, here's, here's what they have. Here's what they did. They did a difference of two squares, but they didn't multiply everything out. These are not a difference of two squares, right? So they multiplied these two terms correctly, and they multiplied these two terms correctly, but they didn't multiply x times 4 minus i, nor did they multiply um, x times negative 4 minus i. Right? You've got to use FOIL. Minus 2. Huh? Carefully, x minus 2, not x plus 2. That's what I just said. Oh, I, I just said that. Oh, oh from here. Yes. yes. Um, x minus 2. Thank you. I was actually just kind of looking at it. Yeah, since the 0 is positive, it would be x minus 2. Thank you. But where the student made the mistake is they only multiplied the first two terms and the last two terms. Ladies and gentlemen, you can only do that when you have a difference of two squares. This times this is not a difference of two squares. What is a difference of two squares? Well, what we can do is I'm going to rewrite my parentheses. If I put my parentheses for the first two terms rather than for the last two terms, I now create a difference of two squares. Notice, my first two terms, are those the same? Yes. Are my last two terms the same? I and I. Yes. Do they have a difference of signs between them? Yes. Now I can use difference of two squares, where I only multiply x minus 4 times x minus 4, and i times negative i. Over here, these, these are the same, these are the same, these are not the same, right? So to multiply these, you'd have to do FOIL. Multiply every term times every term. You would still get the same answer, but you got to make sure you multiply everything by everything. Okay. So what you did the shortcut was without doing the different, without having a difference of two squares. So I rewrite my parentheses. Now I have a difference of two squares. So I have x minus two times x minus four squared plus i times or i times negative i is negative i squared. I squared is negative one, so it's going to be plus one, right? Does everybody see this? Now, what is x minus 4 squared? It's going to be x squared minus 8x plus 16, right? But now I have the i plus, or plus 1, so it's going to be plus 17. I thought that was on the outside, though, the parentheses. It's, in, see, it's inside okay. of these parentheses, right? So now all of this is multiplied by this. So again, I have to use distributive property, or I multiply a trinomial times a binary. So x times x times x. So I get x cubed minus 8x squared plus 17x. Multiply it times every term. Uh, negative 2x squared plus 16x minus 34. Combine my like terms. x cubed minus 10x squared plus 33x minus 34. 
33. There you go. Good. Everybody see it? So then, that's what f of x equals. See it? Make sense? Yes, questions. Go for it. I did this. I multiplied this out. x squared minus 8x plus 16 because negative 4. Remember, this is x minus 4 times x minus 4, right? So then I get positive 16. Positive 16 plus 1 is 17. That's where I came from. Any other questions? Make sure you guys write it down. I don't want it on your homework quiz, but make sure you write it down on your homework so then you have it.